A warm welcome to all our viewers, to our series, Natural Medicine. Today, we have something very special again. Actually, something completely normal, but today, it is no longer normal. Today, we're talking about alternating fields in magnetism, the so-called Kleinscher field. And it's a great honor and pleasure for me to have the entrepreneur and the manufacturer and the developer of these Kleinscher fields here in the studio today. His company has been around for 37 years, and today he's here. A warm welcome, dear Bernard. Welcome, thank you. It's nice that you're here, and I'd be glad if you could briefly explain to us in a minute what Kleinsche fields are. Actually, it's a technology that is based on magnets. That means it's a magnetic surface in which there is a change of polarity every few North Pole, South Pole, positive and negative poles change, but not just a simple change, but in different pole orientations, different pole strengths, different pole areas. It's very complex. They generate a signal when the blood flows over it, over changing poles. It causes the blood to perform better. So the aggregation of red blood cells, for example, is dissolved. The blood becomes more flowable and then goes into the fine capillaries and then the cells can work better. To quickly summarize it. And we want to take a look at that now, dear viewers. I'm happy to show you a few pictures. The first one is a leg. Where you can, you can comment, Bernard, we see a lot of rough veins here. Yes, in the vernacular, they're called spider veins, so the body is searching for, because it no longer receives enough oxygen and nutrients, connectives. It basically builds new diversions, new veins, in order to supply them better. And this picture is, well, this patient has had this for 20 years, but was getting worse every year. And then they use these fields 24-7 for four weeks. Don't we have the effect here for 24 hours? Yes, in the first picture we could of course see that he used a beige bedsheet, so the light is reflected quite bluish, but you can still see the veins that matter. Sure. And then when we see what's happening within four weeks, that sharp drop when oxygen and nutrients constantly get to the cells. We'll show it again before and 24 hours afterwards. I always like to compare that with the German road construction network. So we have the highway in our body, these are the main arteries, from which there are federal roads that are no longer as wide, the arterials, and then it goes further into a village to the main road, again a little narrower. From the main road, there's a side road that becomes even narrower. A small pedestrian path leads from the side road, and that leads to the homes. So a group of houses is connected to it, that would be the cell, because I always say, what use is it if oxygen, nutrients are all driven back and forth on the highway, but nothing gets to my house? So the cells need oxygen and nutrients, and that can only be delivered via the blood. And the metabolic end products, some also call them cytoxins, can only be picked up better when the blood also gets into these capillaries. Exactly. I'd like to show more pictures, dear viewers. These pictures speak for themselves. You see better blood flow caused by the effectiveness of Kleinscher fields, which have been proven by studies. Kleinscher fields, named after the developer Bernard Kleinscher from Bremen, cause, among other things, a considerable increase in the performance of the, in a pilot study with mattress toppers, equipped with Kleinscher fields, it was scientifically proven that nerve damage such as polyneuropathy disappeared, blood sugar levels and high blood pressure normalized, open wounds due to wound healing disorders were closed, sleep disorders disappeared, and varicose veins also disappeared. Kleinscher fields, a technology made in Germany, can be used, for example, against pain, tension, fibromyalgia. Migraines and Parkinson's, MS and many other diseases, but also to keep you healthy. These study results were obtained as a monotherapy just by sleeping on mattress toppers, which were equipped with Kleinscher fields. Conclusion, better blood flow is important for everyone. And now that's the most impressive thing for me, which is this elbow. And here again, you can see in this elbow that has been treated in the upper part for 24 hours with these alternating magnetic fields, and not below. And you can see very clearly that an incredible regeneration has already taken place here.
Well, that's what I'd like to talk to you about. From this picture, we can see very well that not only more oxygen and nutrients are brought to the cells, but what is stored in the intercellular space, like a bruise, bruises can last a long time, in green, yellow, all shades. This was a picture after exactly 20 hours. And at that point where the fields are, it's not only that more is brought in, more is also picked up, what is stored between the cells in this case. So the supply and disposal is improved. So, from my medical knowledge, I know that the blood circulation and the thorough supply of all vessels with energy is essential. And you brought a technology onto the market that has been around for a long time, but I've always heard it differently. I've always heard about north-south orientation of magnetic fields, and not these alternating fields, but it is actually logical that there is a constant acting on the body. The blood moves over constantly changing poles, that means all electrically conducted liquids like blood is, blood, lymph and so on, ensure that the red blood cells, when they cross the changing poles, are pushed apart so that they can get into the capillaries individually, what they, uh, what they can't when they're stuck. And this is called roll formation. This means, actually comparable to a fire, it gets more oxygen, it burns better. This also applies to the cell, it can work better. Now, you have put a lot of work and effort into documenting all of this scientifically, of course. I know, for example, the most respected mitochondrial expert, uh, Mrs. Dr. Professor Brigitte Koenig, did a study too. We'll inform you, dear viewers, about her results in another episode. But today, it's an approved medical product. Certified. certified. What you have achieved? Well, I have my company certified as a medical device manufacturer. It's a class one product, which doesn't have to be certified, but we, we work with the product as if it was class 2A, with all E standards. I only ask myself one thing when I see things like that, and also the study of Professor Koenig. Then I just ask myself, why do we already know about it? Because we're talking here, we're talking a natural medicine broadcaster. And I mean, we're talking about electricity, we're talking about magnetism and the alternating fields. That's the alpha and omega, that's what God gave us. But why are these alternating magnetic fields not a topic in medicine? Quite simply because I've never advertised them. And there are certain laws that for every illness where I could find that it worked, I would now have to do an evidence-based study. Double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized. That costs millions for each illness individually. So if I've proven it for one illness, I'd have to spend millions again on the next illness. I can't afford that. We only survived through word of mouth for decades. So because of the effectiveness, customers, patients have recommended it to others. Well, you did some studies, but only specific ones, not published. Not published, but why are alternating magnetic fields so ignored? Well, there are whole industries that live from diseases who are not necessarily in favour of the patient not returning to health, because if we improve the body's self-healing powers, if we ensure that the body can heal itself again, then, of course, a lot of treatment costs are lost, which is not absolutely desirable. I mean, these have only been a few pictures now, but they clearly show that the blood flow is improving. The oxygen supply is better. So, actually, when a person lies on such a Kleinscher field, they have a significantly increased self-healing power, right? Actually, I developed it to keep you healthy. The goal was actually to prevent the body from getting sick in the first place, because the fluidity of the blood decides whether I have a heart attack or a stroke, whether I have sudden hearing loss, whether an organ can work at all. That means every trillions of cells depend on it. That nutrients arrive. I can take the most expensive nutritional supplements if they don't get to the cell because they're driven back and forth on the highway, but don't come into the pedestrian walkways, and the best supplement is of no use to me, then it's not working. The wound just doesn't heal. And I always started where doctors said, you couldn't do anything anymore. For me, that was the moment when I said, why can't you do anything else? Why does the cell not react? Why does the wound remain open? What can I do to start wound healing again? And then I found out if you can restore and improve the supply of oxygen and nutrients, then cell performance is improved. 
And then the self-healing process is also improved, and the body regulates itself. In one case, the blood pressure is regulated, and in another, the noise in the ear stops. For the next one, sleep is possible again. The vegetative nervous system can work again. For the next one, the digestion is corrected. When the intestinal mucosa is supplied again, actually, it goes into all areas. If you then read studies, I've read every study in the last 30 or 40 years, there are hundreds now that were made with permanent magnets, including a study with a rabbit ear where permanent magnets were put in and it was noticed that the vasomotion, the point movement of the veins when the magnet was inside, if the tone was high, it went down. If it was low, it went up. And a rabbit doesn't know about placebo. So for me, it was so convincing that a lot can be done with magnetic fields that I've started to tinker, to try. How wide must the pole spacing be? Because if the distances are too far apart, the field collapses. If the spacing is too close, it won't get in deep enough. If the alignments are not in all directions, then the blood must have a certain direction. It also doesn't work. So it got more and more complex over time. And at some point, I had a signal that all cells reacted to, including the brain, and indeed powerful, what we can also measure with EKG and EEG. So now we can prove everything, yes. I just imagine now that I'm lying on a bed with these fields, and there I have so many alternating fields that there's a lot of activity in the body. Can I still sleep at all then? So people who are sensitive, they feel a tingling sensation. Uh, the beginning. I don't feel any of it, but when I used to go to the cow shed in the village as a child and could smell the stable, and after half an hour I didn't smell it anymore because the body says you can ignore it. So sensitive people will have a slight tingling sensation in the beginning, but you can control that by controlling the areas. Just make a little smaller area and then enlarge it bit by bit. You can control over time or over the area, but yes, out of 100 people, let's say 90 can go straight to it and have no problems, and 10 have to. Well, the more metabolic end products and toxins are still stored, the slower it should be discharged. But we always provide individual support. So. There is no patient where we would say, it's like that, accept it. But I expect that they contact me when they notice that it is uncomfortable. Then I'll tell them what they can do to make it more comfortable. I'd like to dive into history a little more, because in the Earth's magnetic field, we also have a certain magnetic field density. I think around 40 nanotesla or microtesla, uh, 45, 50 microtesla. Microtesla, good, okay. In the past, we didn't build so high and with less metal. Were people connected better with these alternating fields of magnetism than today? Yeah, they did not have an alternating pull, but they got the Earth's magnetic field, which is less conducted through concrete construction. It is, of course, uh, plus the strain of all our transmitters, because these waves also go not only through walls, but also through the cells of the body. And we all know that a body cell produces electricity, which can be measured by EKG and EEG. I'll say minus 70 millivolts. Then it's healthy. Uh, since there is no current without a magnetic field, the cell has its own magnetic field with the current it produces. Now, of course, two fields meet. That inevitably has to give a reaction. That's why I'm very critical of the cell towers. But that's another topic. Even in magnetism, the value is completely ignored. We always talk about electric fields, but I've rarely heard about magnetic fields or alternating fields as a topic. I'm all the more open and grateful that you're here today, but I know there are therapeutic beds, so-called magnetic blankets, on which therapists sit patients on and let the magnetic fields take effect, also with such success. But how is that in contrast? Well, first of all, completely different. This one is called magnetic therapy. Many people say that about my invention, although that's wrong. A Kleinscher field mattress topper I don't consider as magnetotherapy. And because magnetic therapy always goes through the body, every therapist sends a signal through the body, regardless of whether it's a square, sawtooth, or whatever signals there are, penetrates all cells of the body and forces the cell to have a higher metabolism when the signal goes through. That's scientifically clear. The problem is that when the cell has a higher metabolism, which would be desirable for a broken bone, I'd go directly on it with intensive applications. 
But this signal penetrates all cells, so billions of cells have to have a higher metabolism, which then leads to more metabolic end products in the blood. Some also call it cytotoxins. And if now the kidney only filters 20%, we have to know the blood, once it's pumped in a circle, about 20% per cycle goes through our kidneys to filter the blood. 80% constantly bypass the kidney. Of course, if I produce more poison from a treatment than the kidneys can filter, then for 365 days, I have, well, if you did it permanently, more toxins than the kidney filters. This is permanent. No one has yet figured out where this goes and whether that could result in long-term damage. That's why I advise treatment. Yes, definitely. You can even combine it wonderfully because most of the time the signals will stop, for example, after 20 minutes of therapy. After an hour and a half, the energy can't be stored. Then one could combine that with a permanent Kleinscher field. First the depth signal on the liver or wherever it goes, and when the signal stops, the permanent field comes and ensures that the fluidity is maintained, so that the oxygen comes to the cell for 24 hours and not just 90 minutes. Yes, that's a key point, absolutely. Is it better to wear knee cuffs during the day? If you have knee problems or maybe elbow pads, if you have problems with your elbow, or is it even better if you sleep on a mattress topper during the recovery phase? Well, generally, first of all, the nocturnal recovery phase is our regeneration because we also build this for feet, for example, if you have pain when walking. Oh, soles! Yes, they are also built as insoles. Now it's even in motorcycle seats because concentration and reaction time are improved. But no matter where you put it, it's not about the product now. The field itself, when the signal is generated, means only at the point. If we think back to the bruise now, where the fields are, it works where they are not, it's still there. Yes. That would mean if I want to regenerate the entire body at night, then the oxygen has to be fetched from the lungs. And if I only improve the blood circulation in my feet, then the lungs won't pick it up. It only improves the flowability in the foot, but the oxygen is still missing. And there's no substitute for overnight regeneration in the whole body. Of course, if I leave the field for 16 hours a day, and all organs end with the nerves in the sole of the foot, then of course it makes sense to continue working with the soles during the day, because the organs can still be reached via the nerves in the foot. And besides, I would even take them out of my shoe at night. Because what are they supposed to do in the shoe closet overnight? The foot has worked during the day and regenerates at night while sleeping. That's why I'd probably even put the soles in my socks at night and put them on with the socks on my feet for better regeneration at night, especially with nerve damage and the like. Because when we talk about cell self-healing of the body, then it can do this best in the regeneration phase and not in the shoe closet at night. How open are the complementary physicians nowadays to Kleinscher fields? I also know that you're already training doctors today in online seminars or in doctors' congresses. How open are they to that? It gets more, it gets more. So 30 years ago, they still smiled and now they don't smile anymore. You can see the results and we can't sweep the laboratory stuff under the carpet either. If we see that, we have a bachelor thesis where the white blood cells, so the immune system can increase the maximum breathing 3.3 times within 60 minutes. And the reserve breathing is even five and a half times higher. Then we no longer have to ask whether the cell is responding. And with no placebo in the test tube already. Well, if I look at these numbers in a case of illness right now, then these numbers and this strengthening of the white blood cells can only be a great blessing for people which actually allows the self-healing powers to skyrocket dramatically, to put it positively. For me, I've been sleeping on it for decades to stay healthy. But in the end, for me, when someone's cellular performance is gone, and this is called medical condition or diseases, then optimizing cell performance again so that they can regenerate themselves again, that's the base. Because what use is an oxygen device on my nose if it doesn't arrive in the cell? It has to be picked up in the lungs. So, may I summarize that again? We have a magnetic field that's aligned this way and that way, and also this and that way, like a grid structure. Yes, even more complex, because a zebra crossing would not work. Then the blood, if it runs from right to left, would have no more change. 
But if I just look at, at a normal mosaic, it wouldn't work that way either, because to generate the signal, we need different pole spacing, different pole shapes, different pole areas, different pole orientations, different pole strengths. Well, it then becomes very complex to generate this signal in the first place. You could also say that with the glasses, you have to grind the lens in a certain way so that you can see, and don't just put in a glass. It's similar with a magnet. I can take a magnet off the fridge. It won't happen. That means we're talking about a medical device. We could prove what it does in a clinical evaluation and also in the lab and in pilot studies. Well, that's only possible. That's why I built in a name as protection, which can be made visible with tests to prevent forgeries. Yes, would like to show that briefly at this point, Divius. Then we see what it looks like when you pull it through the magnet. See, a lettering can be seen. So this is the original. Exactly. That is, the word biorelax must appear. If that doesn't appear, you have a forgery. Are there fakes on the market? Yes, I was told once by a lawyer that I should feel flattered that there are forgeries. I didn't see it that way at the beginning, but yes, there are some. Okay, you mentioned a study earlier about the ability to react and concentrate, which is done in two different universities. Can you give any details what that looks like? Well, we started with athletes, just testing, double blind. So we built soles where the foil was incorporated between two blank layers. We made a real one and a placebo sole and put them in two athlete's shoes and took a measurement with a 128 channel EEG. How the brain reacts, how many mistakes they make in exam questions, how quickly they react. And the first results were astonishing. So they reacted faster and made fewer mistakes which of course becomes irreplaceable for athletes. So the brain also reacts extremely to it. Motor skills and concentration are addressed immediately, also visibly. Have you made observations without any medical statements, but observations from your experience of the last 30, 37 years? How do people with Parkinson's react? The first time I even made an observation was a patient who stood across from me and asked me at the time whether it would be any of use to him. He had Parkinson's for 10 years. At that time I said, I don't know, but that it would be worth a try. You can't go wrong. We have no harmful side effects. Worth a try. Write to me if it works. And then he replied, 80% of the voice was already gone, so very quietly I can no longer write, because he couldn't keep a steady hand anymore. And then six weeks later, I got a poem from him, which he had written himself. I was crying, because I couldn't imagine that he could write to me himself. So apparently so much dopamine has been produced again, that the shaking has decreased so far that he could walk safely again, he could speak better, he could go to the toilet better. So that's what he wrote in a poem, that was for me. You said there, there are no side effects. What about patients who have a pacemaker? Are there dangers if magnetic fields come into contact with a pacemaker? So, we have a magnetic field which has a strength. After a distance of 14 millimeters, we have the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. And when lying on the back, after 31 millimeters, there's no longer any field. We only reach the blood. The pacemaker is not reached at all, so lying on your back and inside is harmless. In the prone position, we have built an additional topper, which creates a 10 millimeter safety distance. Although my father sleeps without it because nothing can happen. But for that, we would have to buy all the pacemakers in the world and then test whether this really applies to all of them, and therefore back and side position harmless. So even if they put the magnetic soles one and a half centimeters next to the pacemaker, still nothing happens. How many different products are there? I've now heard of the soles, I've seen cuffs, for the arms and for the legs. There's a mattress topper, isn't there? It's available for office chairs. We built it for car seats. We actually have it. Also, truck drivers who are plagued by pain over and over again and have problems with blood circulation, back pain. I once made a list with about 4,000 things where you can put it. <laughs> okay. Well, whether it will be a tennis racket, that will give a higher impact force and ball speed and reduces reaction time and error rate. Or whether it's downhill skiers who have it in their ski boots and makes fewer mistakes in downhill skiing and gets down faster. So, yes, it works. There won't be anything without it. 
We're already building it for horses, horse cuffs. I think they're called gaiters for horses. I only supply the raw material. The manufacturers then build these fields into their products. That's what I actually do more consulting for companies. My son does more of the consulting for, for end users. So interesting. We're running out of time and we're almost done with the first show, but if the viewers at home say, oh, that's interesting, I'd like to get more information about it, is there somewhere they can read or listen to more information? First of all, I'd strongly recommend to visit our website, and that's called medicinewissenonline.de. There are weekly, regularly given seminars. Well, we're no longer allowed to call them seminars. There are online lectures. That means they can get information there. It's presented there, always the latest results, what we're doing right now, weekly. And otherwise, they can go to kleinschefelder.de on the internet if they're looking for more information, or with Google, or with any search engine, no matter which one. Simply enter the search term Kleinsche Fields. Then they'll find a lot of information. Can they also ask questions in the webinar? Yes, live. I'll answer that live too. Great, even personally related to the question. Super cool. Wonderful that you're there. Thank you very much, dear Bernhard. I am delighted. And I'd like to thank you very much for the first episode about these Kleinsche fields. And I don't know what my wife thinks about the previous conversation, but I found it very convincing what you told us about these fields. And that by lying on it, of course, a preventive measure is taken. It's physics. Yes, where you can supply your body with oxygen and with white blood cells and have a good supply of red blood cells right down to the smallest alleys. It's super cool. It's a shame it hasn't spread all over the world yet. But that's what QS24 is there for. And I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching and see you next time.